Josh McDaniels. Ah, Josh ah. McDaniels. Let's look at his coached in resume here. Our next candidate, Josh McDaniels. Patriots offensive coordinator has 17 years of NFL coaching experience. His reference is pretty good. Tom Brady, Bill uh -huh. Belichick, uh -huh. and some kid named Jimmy Garoppolo, who he worked with the past few years. Honors and accolades. How about five-time Super Bowl champion? His interesting nugget before he went into coaching, out of John Carroll, he was a plastic sales representative. He sold plastic? He sold plastic. All right. Oh. Here you go, Mrs. Robinson. Yeah, anyway, no wonder, he, no wonder he knows how to stretch the field. Exactly. Right. Look, in all honesty, Josh McDaniels, had, hey, last year, could have taken any of those jobs, didn't leave the Patriots. Who knows? That Niners job, it could have been his and not Kyle Shanahan's if he actually wanted it. But now I am under the indi indication that Daniels is ready to leave the nest and he's ready to leave Belichick and take one of these gigs. Why? Because they're three of the best, most coveted gigs in football. Right. Thursday afternoon, he will interview with the Indianapolis Colts. And there is another quarterback there, one Andrew Luck, that he could get his hands on. Friday, it's the Giants and the Bears. He will wow. interview with both of those teams up in Foxborough. Josh McDaniels, beloved by quarterbacks. Guys like Tom Brady, like Jimmy Garoppolo. I did a Colts game earlier this year. Jacoby Brissett was raving about Josh McDaniels. Of course, he has head coaching experience with the Denver Broncos earlier in his career, but now he is considered, like last year, Kay, the bell of the ball. He's the coordinator that everyone wants to get their hands on on the offensive side of the ball. Interesting. Andrew Luck, Eli Manning, mm. Mitchell Trubisky, yeah. and who knows if there are other teams looking to knock on his door. His resume is like the scented one with the perfume on it. Um, like paper that's like a little higher quality yes, and a little yeah. where you yeah. can kind of see it and want to pull it out. That's it, how I like it's it. also like he's the executive VP of an excellent company, like a fantastic company, but he doesn't have the corner office. He's not the CEO. He wants to leave to a company that's maybe struggling. That's a big jump. And this is the year. This is it. And these are three teams that are struggling and are looking for a new page in their history. And you mentioned something that's so interesting to me that Andrew Luck, if he comes back healthy, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. But Jacoby Brissett, who he knows like the back of his hand, played for him for a long time. So he walks to a situation where he could have two of the better quarterbacks in the league with a ton of familiarity. Yeah, I, I, I talked to some of the Niners guys after the Garoppolo trade. I said, why, why now? What was the trade? They said, uh, he learned under Tom Brady and Josh McDaniels the last <laughs> time. Like, we have a fully molded thing. Like, Josh McDaniels was on his hand. Like, it's every finished day. product. It's right? a finished product. There was no doubt that Garoppolo right. would be okay. Josh McDaniels coached him. That's how much respect Josh McDaniels has around wow. the league. He has a lot of respect, and he's the bell of the ball, but isn't he going to have to answer a couple of tough questions? Like, you get to play and coach up Tom Brady and Jimmy Garoppolo, who's just really talented, and it didn't work out the first time around. He's going to sure. have to mm. kind of show what he learned, right? And, and it's been several years, right? He was fired by the Broncos and in, in – you know, we've all gone down that road. What have you learned? What have you matured? And he's going to have to come in and present himself like, here's why I'm different than I was mm. then. Steve Wilkes, what do you got? Steve Wilkes, let's look at his coached in page. Steve Wilkes is the current defensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers. He has 12 years of NFL experience. His key references, Ron Rivera, the current head coach, Josh Norman, maybe the best defensive back he's ever coached, and Lovey Smith, who he went to a Super Bowl with back in the 2000s. Now, Honors and accolades, 2015 NFC champion. Interesting nugget. He actually played for the Charlotte Rage in 1993. The Rage? The Arena League. Cool. And guys, I have to say something. I've gotten to know Steve Wilkes quite a bit over the past couple of years. Oh, yeah? A master communicator. There is a guy who can talk to these players as if he is a player, but also demands the utmost respect. It is Steve Wilkes. And he has a busy schedule coming up. Sunday at 4 o'clock, he's coaching as a defensive coordinator and trying to figure out how to stop maybe the most explosive offense in the league, the Saints. Immediately afterwards, he has interviews next week with the Cardinals, the Colts, the Giants, the Lions. Mm. And though it's not set in stone, he will most likely interview with the Bears as well. Steve Wilkes last year interviewed with the Los Angeles Rams. And I can tell you, knowing people in the Rams organization, this guy blew them away. There is a good indication that if it wasn't McVay, it might have been okay. Wilkes. Whoa. Ron Rivera speaks the world of him. Steve Wilkes is a very, very hot commodity. His coached up page looks very, nice very resume. good. John DeFilippo, Ooh, I present John to you. John DeFilippo, you've heard that name a bunch on the show the past few weeks. Who is he? Let's see. He's the quarterback's coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. He has 11 years of NFL experience. His key references, Carson Wentz, who he helped mold into an MVP candidate this year. Tom Coughlin, who he used to coach under with the Giants. And Johnny Manziel, who he was his offensive coordinator with the Cleveland Browns. Honors and accolades. Look at Carson Wentz last year. NFL rookie record, 379 completions. Interesting nugget. 
I went online and Googled with Matt Hamilton, John Filippo. He has an actual LinkedIn page. <laughs> Here's an interesting nugget on him. He also played at James Madison University, and the Eagles this year I like it. had 48 offensive touchdowns. That was number one in the NFL. John D. Filippo in the next couple of days. What's he got? Friday, he's going up to Chicago. He's interviewing with those Bears. And, and, and the thing is with D. Filippo, they don't have a game until next week. So this entire week, he's prepping both for a variety of who they can play, but also preparing himself for interviews to mm. be a head coach in the NFL. Saturday, he meets with the Arizona Cardinals. Steve Kime and Michael Bidwell and those guys will get their hands on him. Both of those teams are interesting for D. Filippo. Why? They want a young, offensive mind that can get them over the top. This guy has so much charisma, so much energy, and the key word that I've gotten when I ask around people who are with him in Cleveland, with him with the Giants, juice. He's got juice. You walk in the like room, that. and it's not D. Filippo to the players. It's Flip. Uh, we got Flip. Flip's our coach. Like, Flip's got it. Yeah, that's <laughs> so my guy. Like, that's, that's my his, guy. That's his nickname. Juice. He's got juice. Like, Bruce Arians is B.A. to his players, yes. right? He's got juice. And Flip. And, and look, he was, in, he was with the Raiders for a while. He's been in a lot of different places. No one of any of these candidates maybe has been in more – troublesome city. He was with the Raiders back yeah. when it was like Jermarcus. And then he was with Johnny Menzel yeah. with the Browns. You could say, well, those guys didn't work out. That, that wasn't on flip. That was, hey, let me figure out a way to do the best with what we've got here. And I'll tell you something. The Eagles players love him. Carson Wentz is a big fan. Mm. Nick Foles is a big fan. What's going to hold against him is that he's the quarterback's coach. Mm. He's not the head coach. Doug Peterson's head coach. How often do we see that happen? Very rarely. Yeah. Frank Reich's the offensive coordinator. Yeah. So are we really taking a position coach and we're elevating him to head coach? He's going to have to answer those questions. And I bet you these days, as they lead up to the bye week, he's got all the answers because he's going to prepare for those interviews.